Most people know Thailand for its majestic beaches, rich culture, delicious food, and overall good vibes. However, there's another side of Thailand, a dark side, a side that very few foreigners get to see and most don't even know exists. All I can say is that I did not expect to find this in Thailand. We're walking around the Grand Palace area right now and we are going to look for the Talisman Amulet Market. Thai people are very spiritual, which is a quality that transcends across its primary Buddhist as well as Muslim and Christian population. While a lot of the spiritual belief is tied to Buddhist practices, there is a huge belief and acceptance in black magic as well. This is a very special and unique market because of what they're selling, which are talismans and amulets that are meant to give you protection to ward off certain evils or bring certain good things to your life. However, it's got a very interesting side to it. There's a lot of spiritual and Buddhist things going on in here, but there is also some black magic at work, so I hear. A friend of mine introduced me to a peculiar market in Bangkok that sells black magic artifacts. I was told about real voodoo dolls, figures depicting humans inside of glass orbs that are filled with blood, eyeballs inside of jars, demonic statues covered in blood, and things that are pretty much undescribable. I knew I had to check this place out for myself, so we hit Bangkok in search of the amulet market to find the black magic shop. What I've also been told is that some of the most dangerous men in all of Thailand come here to buy protective talismans so that they are protected in whatever crimes they get up to. So let's find this market and check out what is for sale and see if we can find some protection for ourselves. All right guys, so this is the main entrance to the amulet market that we're coming into now. Let's see what we can find. Still. There's amulets here, yeah, being sold. So you can see various types of Buddhist talismans being sold here. Each one has its own form of protection, but a lot of them are just symbols of the Buddha. Yeah, Buddha statues. As we got inside of the market, we saw that it was filled with traditional Buddhist style amulets, but we were not able to find any voodoo dolls or black magic artifacts like the ones that were described. That's actually a lot of it's closed. Uh. We didn't realize that the market closes quite early and many of the shops had already begun closing their doors by the time that we'd arrived. I was beginning to lose hope that we would actually get to see this black magic shop at all. After walking through alleys and inspecting various shops, just as we were about to call it quits, we found the voodoo store we were looking for. So what do you got? This one. And they've got stuff like this. Yeah. And they got like this, but it's like the, it looks like a it's like a devil that he's wrapped up inside. Your shop too? How much? These, how much these cost? How many baht? 300 baht. Imagine bringing one of these gifts back to somebody. And how much this one? I need 200. 200 baht, okay. And look at this jar. There's just like stuff inside of this jar. Ooh, a baby doll's head. While looking at the items in the shop, I was absolutely astounded by the things I've found. I've traveled a lot and have been to some strange shops over the years, but nothing comes even remotely close to this. So a lot of really, really interesting artifacts here. I mean, things that I can't even begin to imagine what they would mean, but very, very interesting. I couldn't help but think that I was in a Halloween store like the ones we have back home, or that we were in one of those shops depicted in TV shows that I'd watched growing up, which feature a suspicious shop owner selling black magic artifacts. A price for everything, Mr. Goldenfold. A price for everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> 
I read that some artifacts have specific types of meanings, while others need to be chosen based on how you feel about them, and that will in turn create some sort of meaning for yourself. We spent the next half an hour looking at objects in the store, and then my curiosity got the better of me, and I had to ask what some of these objects actually meant. Do you know what, what is the meaning of this? Like, what kind of protection? Love blood. Blood. Love blood. What is it? Priya. 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 Yeah, love. love, love. Prayer yeah, yeah. for keeping love. Yeah, love. Wow, okay. Despite their appearance, the few objects that I did ask about were all about love or some form of positive energy or protection. I suppose this is a reminder to never judge a book by its cover. As you can see, you can really buy some very, very interesting things here. Voodoo dolls. This one's coming home with me. I still don't know how to exactly feel about everything that I saw in this shop. A lot of the things were undeniably grotesque and a bit odd, but this is without a doubt one of the most interesting places I've ever seen. How much? Uh, I sell 500 baht. How much is it? 300 baht. Um, I did some research on this and discovered that black magic is not always necessarily used for evil in Thai culture. Black magic can actually be used for luck, health, fertility, and love. What is it? Thailand. Thailand? Thailand, Thailand. 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 Bye-bye. All right, guys. Well, that is the amulet market here in Bangkok. Without a doubt, one of the most unique markets in the entire country. I mean, the spiritual side of it is really cool. You can see just monks walking around here, buying things for their practices. Uh, however, you'll also find very interesting short stores like the one I just showed you. Overall, loads of different things that you can buy to protect yourself, depending on what kind of protection you're looking for. Now I've got something to take home from Thailand. I think the best souvenir I found yet. There's my voodoo doll. Good one? Good one. <laughs> A lot of people come home uh, with souvenirs and stuff for their friends and family when they visit a place like Thailand. And a lot of them end up bringing home like wooden elephants and you know, elephant pants and sort of the same stuff over and over again and it's all generic crap. This is a place you can come to to buy something truly unique and special and that your friends and family will definitely be taken aback by. I, I gotta say, this is one of the weirdest things I ever bought and I love it. Overall just very, very satisfied with the experience just for the sake of going in there and looking at the things that they're selling because it's not something that you find at other markets in Bangkok. And it's conveniently close to the center. So it's not far from the Grand Palace. It's not far from Khao San. This is where a lot of people tend to stay when they come to Bangkok. Highly recommended if you have an hour to kill during your day in Bangkok and want to see something really weird and unique and bring back one of these with you. Anyways, it's been a fun little adventure. Please be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and press all those buttons down there. The YouTube algorithm does not support my channel or these videos if they don't get these likes and subscribes. So please press those buttons and I will see you on the next video. Peace.